Today, folks, we're diving into EcoWave Power, no pun intended, being a leading onshore wave energy developer, changing the world one wave at a time. Trading on the NASDAQ under the ticker WAVE, W-A-V-E. We are pleased uh, to be joined by founder and CEO Ina Braverman to kind of give us a broad view of the company and uh, all these exciting milestones that have recently gone on in the sector. So first and foremost, welcome. Thank you for having me. Always a pleasure. And I want to dive into this for newer audiences. Maybe we walk us through the founding vision of EcoWave Power and how your mission kind of has evolved uh, into scaling globally. So EcoWave Power was founded in 2011 but by David Lebb, who is a serial entrepreneur, and myself. Uh, the vision behind EcoWave Power is to commercialize wave energy. Wave energy is the least intermittent source of renewable energy. Uh, according to the World Energy Council, it can produce twice the amount of electricity that the world produces now. So for us, we put it into our core mission and goal to make wave energy a reality. Uh, the first patent of wave energy was registered in the early 1900s. And since then, we didn't see, you know, wave energy bobbing around everywhere. We do see solar panels and we see wind, wind turbines and EcoWave Power is here to change that. So we are out of the lab. Uh, into real conditions, operations, uh, already grid connected in Israel. Yesterday, we had the launch of our first U.S. projects, and we have many other projects coming along soon. Yeah, and speaking to that, for those paying attention, I mean, you had a historic uh, launch at the port of Los Angeles. Uh, maybe explain why this milestone is so significant for the company and the wave energy sector as a whole. So this milestone is very significant for EcoWave Power since the United States is a very large wave energy market. According to the International, International Energy Agency, uh, the potential in the United States for wave energy is to produce 66% of all the United States energy needs. So that's a gigantic market for us. Uh, the United States is new to wave energy. There has never has never been an implementation of an onshore wave energy technology in the United States. So we are the first one. And on this pilot that we put at Alta Seas premises in the port of LA, we're actually learning how to get uh, the regulatory framework. We worked with the Army Corps of Engineers and with the port of LA, which will assist us also in future commercial projects. We're doing environmental surveys to show that we don't damage the environment. Uh, it's the first time that we connected to a piles kind of structures by clamping to it versus how we would connect in uh, previous installations to a cement 90 degrees wall. So we're basically learning and accumulating significant knowledge and uh, creating the regulatory framework to enable wave energy to commercialize. So we're starting with a small pilot in, in front of Altasis premises in the port of LA. But if we're looking at the eight miles long external breakwater of the port of LA, this has potential for 60 megawatts of installed capacity, which is up to 60,000 households, according to preliminary forecasts uh, that we have made. So we're starting small and our hope is to grow big and to grow fast. Yeah, and speaking to the uniqueness here, I mean, what makes EcoWave's power technology uh, kind of comparable in that unique way to other energy solutions? I mean, how do you protect your intellectual property and why is it more scalable and cost efficient than say other approaches? I mean, like you said, we've seen wind, we've seen solar, but why, why not this? So EcoWave Power has a wide patent portfolio. We have actually 18 patents and patents pending, 13, 13 already approved, five patents are pending in Europe, United States, uh, Israel, and an international PCT. Uh, what's unique in our technology is that we just kind of, we took everything that didn't work or that was problematic in previous wave energy generation technologies and we solved them. So we saw that 99% of the competitors went into the offshore, which is four or five kilometers into the sea, and that it was super expensive uh, because they needed chips and divers and underwater mooring and cables. So what EcoWave Power did differently is that we connect to existent man-made structures such as piers, breakwaters, jetties. So we don't need to do any construction from the seaside, only from the land side. Uh, we saw that uh, the other wave energy technologies, again, being in the offshore, are exposed to extreme wave heights, tsunami wave heights, and the uh, no man-made equipment can survive the blows of these large uh, wave heights. So EcoWave Power developed a storm protection mechanism, a patented storm protection mechanism that when the wave, waves are too high for the system to handle, our floaters automatically go up above the water level and they lock in the upward position until the storm passes. We also solved all the environmental concerns since we don't connect to the seabed. We only connect to existent man-made structures which already disturb the environment. Uh, we're also uh, easily connected to the grid since these breakwaters are usually in ports and ports are high consumers of electricity. So we kind of simplified wave energy 
so we can easily commercialize the technology in different locations around the world. Yeah, I definitely appreciate the insight there. And with 404.7 megawatts of projects in the pipeline across the U.S., Taiwan, Portugal, India, and South Africa, which projects are expected to start generating power first? And what is the anticipated timeline for scaling you know, these operations globally? So the next project that we have uh, upcoming in our pipeline are the Taiwanese project that uh, about two weeks ago we announced through our local partners there, IKE, that uh, they won the tender uh, from Suau Port, which is a port on the east side of Taiwan, to build the project. So now we're moving uh, together with them for engineering coordination, uh, planning, and then actual construction of the project. Uh, we also have an MOU that we entered in February with Fortune 500 company, uh, Baharat Petroleum. Uh, they're, they're the second largest oil and gas company in India, governmentally owned, and we plan to also do a pilot with them in Mumbai Oil Terminal. And uh, one of the projects that we're most excited about is our first megawatt scale project, which is the largest project that we have built to date, and we're developing it in Portugal. It's expected to launch by September 2026, so in one year. And uh, we're very excited about this site because according to our forecasts and surveys, it has 90% of wave availability. So we can show that in suitable locations, wave energy can actually generate power 24-7 or almost 24-7, 90% of the time. And I think this will be a very exciting moment for EcoWave Power and the whole renewable energy market. Yeah, absolutely. And speaking to kind of the policy front, how is backing uh, from California Senate Bill 605 in the Marine Energy Technologies Acceleration Act influenced your ability to scale in the U.S.? And how do you see the policy support shaping your growth trajectory? So I think the momentum in the United States right now is very, very positive. Uh, as you rightfully mentioned, Senate Bill 605 that was si signed into law by Governor Newsom establishes uh, support mechanisms for implementing wave energy specifically in California. I think, or and according to what I know, this is the first bill of this kind meant to support wave energy, specifically wave energy deployment in California. Uh, the uh, legislation... Uh, the proposed legislation by Congresswoman Annette Berragon to appropriate $1 billion in federal fund into ocean technologies is also a very innovative uh, kind of step towards wave energy. So I think the fact that we're implementing a pilot of wave energy in California, along with the fact that legislation for the first time is kind of starting to arise in the United States, I think that combination could create a very fast and efficient commercialization of wave energy in the United States. Yeah, and I definitely appreciate that. And switching kind of from the, I guess, the Senate side of the bills into maybe some of your partnerships with Shell, Alt-C, and other global partners, you want to talk about how that translates into strategic value uh, for EcoWay Power, and how do these collaborations enhance investor confidence? So each of our projects that we've built to date and that we're planning to build in the near future are with large-scale strategic partners. So our Israeli Grid Connected project is done in collaboration with EDF Renewables IL. Electricita de France is the largest renewable energy developer in Europe. Uh, our project here in the Port of LA is done with 50% co-investment from Shell, Shell Marine Renewable Energy Program. Uh, our project in Taiwan will be with IKE. Our project in India will be with Bharat Petroleum, which is, as I said, a Fortune 500 uh, oil and gas company. So I think these type of partnerships are enabling us to receive much greater exposure and to start at the pilot scale, but upon success of the pilots, to be able to work with these large parties to commercialize the technology and to move to additional regions for commercial scale implementation. Because right now it's important to know that we're starting with these small pilots because we want to reinforce our revenue stream. Some of these pilots are done as turnkey, as sale. Uh, we want to create regulatory frameworks. We want to create awareness about wave energy. But our goal is that each place like this that has a pilot will turn into a commercial power station in the future. Yeah, and speaking to the commercialization front, Wave Power is still in its, uh, you know, in pilot and early development phase. Do you want to explain the plan to generating revenue from Wave Energy projects and the key milestones investors should be paying attention to moving forward? So I think definitely the key milestones in, in terms of new market penetration is the project that we're uh, planning to launch in Taiwan and in India. And in terms of really reinforcing the revenue stream of the company. So I think our first revenues like more significant revenues from actually selling electricity to the grid will come from the first one megawatt in portugal uh, it's only one megawatt so it's 10 times larger than what we've built to date but one megawatt is 
sufficient to about 1,000 households. Uh, so it's just the beginning, but we will be able to show that on a much smaller space than solar and wind, we can generate more energy per, per footprint and actually sell this energy to the grid generating profit. So that's just the beginning, because after one megawatt, we can very easily uh, uh, copy and paste the technology since the technology is fully modular and install it in any size on any breakwater. On that note, we'll pass it off to the viewer as always. As news catalysts come down the wire, consider subscribing and check out uh, EcoWave Power. We'll leave the links in the description below as well for further deep diving. But on that note, as always, we look forward to catching you in the next one.